Growing up, my grandparents were a huge influence on my life. My granddad raised me with an engineering mindset, and at the core of engineering is problem solving. And the biggest problem we face today is climate change. We're already seeing the impact of the climate crisis with rising sea levels, retreating glaciers, depletion in our wildlife. The consequences long term are potentially catastrophic. Young people across the world demanded recognition from leaders of climate change and action to help tackle it. And that's why we are pledged here in the UK to deliver net zero by 2050. An increasingly urgent problem demands increasingly urgent innovation and solutions. It isn't just down to one, one group, it's down to everybody doing their bit and understanding that we all have a part to play in this. The only way to make an impact environmentally and combat climate change effectively was through rethinking how we do things as a country. One of our solutions to solving the problem is interconnectors, enormous subsea cables transporting vast amounts of energy that's carbon free. So our latest interconnector to come online, which we're super proud of, is IFA 2. And that's between France, Khan in France and the UK. It's a thousand megawatts, which means it can decarbonize a million homes. To build IFA 2 has been one heck of a job. The most exciting factor about working on IFA 2 is the fact that we're connecting two countries together. We're connecting two energy systems together. I cannot think about doing a project like this without forming that strong bond between all the nations and nationalities that are involved. The Eye for Two project sort of brings together everything that's great in our organisation. There's no status, people just get things done. The youngsters, the people that have got decades of experience, work together, learn from each other. I joined IFA2 as an engineering apprentice and it's really exciting for me that I have a job where I can see how exactly I'm contributing to creating cleaner energy futures for the UK. I definitely feel like I'm part of something bigger because the outputs of projects like IFA2 and all these initiatives and these pledges like Net Zero, it's not just for a small community to benefit from, it's not for a region, it's not for a country, it's ultimately for the, the whole world. There's a part of me now that feels really optimistic about the future because you can see real innovation and you can see genuine next steps that are going to reach net zero by 2050 if they're put in place and they're put in place effectively. My first grandchild is due as we speak. It just reminds me the importance of the future and our responsibilities to what we hand over. It's really down to system change and what corporations and what governments do and how they act over the next 30 years that will dictate the future that my child has. Engineering for me is about protecting our world and our environment. Global government, industry and academia must all work together to create an infrastructure which is decarbonised. But we need passionate people in order to make that happen. I want to look back in 30 years' time and say that I was one of the people that tackled climate change.